Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those who don't play you, welcome back for the last time, my name is Katie. Today, I am going to be doing a two looks video with the collection, the Ensley Rain Groovy Garden collection, and like using some of the singles, using some of the moon dusters, using some of the other lip products and seeing how they all work together and using them in kind of a, a unusual ways and just doing some kind of different shit. So if you guys are interested in seeing more performance, more demonstrations of the other products, the, the rest of the collection, then hang out. I'm just putting on my primer and P my P. Louise primer in room row two with my unearthly concealer brush. I'm not sure what it is. It's you see something. I'm gonna do a pink look today. Am I am I gonna do a pink look? No way. I have to. Um, so yeah, and I also realize that I'm very heavily blushed. It's those elf blushers, man. It'll be okay. It's gonna be okay. All right, so I'm gonna do a halo eye. I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna use my Voldemort VJH, Voldemort VJH32, and I'm gonna go into Marvy. Yay, Marvy! I've been waiting, you guys know. And I'm gonna kind of just go, I'm gonna swoop this all the way across. Cute. And that's a cute pink. Pretty different than the pinks I've been using lately too. Maybe, I mean. I've been using a lot of like blushy romantic pinks. I mean, not that this isn't. This just seems a little more blue based, that's all. So I'm gonna try not to yammer on and on and the reason why is not because I don't love it. I do love yammering on and on, but I'm gonna try my hardest to, I'm gonna try to kick out two looks tonight. And the reason why is because I wanna try and use some of those, I wanna use a loose pigment. I wanna do a look with a loose pigment and I wanna do a look with one of the single shadows. So actually two. So this look right here I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do single shadows and then I'm gonna stay up late. I'm gonna go again. I guess I should have kind of held out a little bit just because Oh, that's nice and round. Let's just try to keep this mushroom shaped in the spirit of things. And then I'm gonna use my Zueva 232. I'm gonna use uh, Hazy Dreams. Remember when I did the swatches in the video that you guys saw today? Hazy Dreams is the more Merlot one, but it's not quite as deep, but I think it'll be plenty deep. Let's just see how it builds on top of this color. A lot of times when colors are like white based, and honestly, I'm just gonna tell you, I don't think that these colors are white based, but in the pan, they look a little, um, you know, honestly, I texted my friend and was like, hey, did you see the new Ensley Rain? And she said they looked a little bit dusty. So the colors are a little milky, I would say, is what they are. So that implies that they're like, they've got a little white base. So colors that have white base are sometimes hard to build on. So as you can see, I'm not having any problem. I mean, it wasn't like built up like crazy or whatever. And these aren't like this, that wasn't the most white base color, but just saying, it built easily. That was this color, Hazy Dreams. Just gonna bring this up. I'm gonna keep it tight on the inner corner, like at the inner corner, but like just about right here, I'm gonna start bringing it up above my crease. So at the inner corner, I'm keeping it inside the crease. And as I get a little bit higher, I'm gonna take it up and that'll give it more of the, uh, you know, that shape. So we're just gonna keep anything that goes above the crease, we're gonna keep it inside, right? Cause we want it to be more shaped this way or I do at least. Ooh, that's cute. Ooh, she cute. Okay, keeping it tight. I'm just talking myself through it at this point because I don't want to forget as I often do and get distracted. Damn, that's really nice. And I'm just gonna go back in with Marvy, even though that, that does need a little bit better blend, but I'm just gonna kind of go like this and, oh yeah, that covered that up a little bit more than I wanted, but what else did I expect? Did I think it wasn't gonna be pigmented? <laughs> nope, never did. Never thought that, not even for one second. Oh, I need to back off that finger there, huh? Getting a little crazy. Okay, and now I'm gonna use, uh, I think this is the 228, the Zoeva 228 and I'm gonna go into Free Love and I'm gonna use that to blend it out. And I'm just gonna be still keeping it super round. So I'm just gonna be going like 80% on and 20% off, right? 
especially on this inner corner. See, the thing about me is that I can't do a look quickly for you guys to show you guys the products without the look being like perfected in a certain, at least a certain ways that matter to me. So the sacrifice that I, the cost of that is me like not being able to talk quite as much so that I can really like just get my blend good. So I know that for the most part, you guys don't come here for my good blend, but maybe you do. You know what I mean? And so I just don't wanna, that's not a thing for me. Like I have to like have like a really good blend and like what I consider a good blend might be different than what other people consider a good blend. But I'm just saying like it, that it has to have that. So I wanna hurry. I wanna get two looks out for you guys, but I also can't like just bust out a quick look. Like I can, I just can't fucking talk the whole time. That's all, that looks really good. I'm gonna use my Refer 21. It's good, it's not my favorite, but it'll do in a pinch. I'm gonna use Flower Power on the lid. Yeah, this is gonna be perfection. Maybe I should quickly do my lower lash line. I am going to. I'm gonna use this Voldemort VJH 39 pencil brush and go into Hazy Dreams, the darkest color. good. I think I'm going to use this brush, but I'm just going to kind of try to be a little bit controlled about it, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh yeah, that's fine. That'll do. Cute. Damn, that's cute, cute. And I'm going into free love and I'm just going to kind of pull that down. Damn, that was quick. And I'm, it, you can see it's kind of difficult for me. I'm really taking great pains to make sure that I don't bring this out. I really want to keep it round. And honestly, I'm not even sure I'm going to love that. I'm just like, that's what I want to do. And so that's what I'm going to do. It's funny how we just get into these habits where we just do the same thing over and over again. And then it becomes like difficult to do something different. I feel like for me now, I'm going to use my Refer 21 and I'm going to apply my next Glitter Primer. I just up 232 and I'm gonna go into flower power. This is gonna be a good time. Wait for it. Okay, I mean this color is like so deceptive, but it's got, I saw it, I checked it before I did it. It's got this like little tiny weird pinkish undertone and it's gonna fucking look really good. I guarantee it. There it is. Oh, that's cute. Oh my God, that's gonna, that's so fucking perfect. What am I doing? Fucking, I'll get distracted. I swear to God, I do it all the time. I will literally get distracted and fucking dip my brush into a green or something. <laughs> I get all fucking crazy. There you guys can see it. Dang, that looks so cute. And now I'm just gonna go in with this brush and kind of just give it a little tappy with the darkest matte. That is amazing. That was so great. I'm gonna actually put uh, NYX Glitter Primer on the lower lash line as well so that I can kind of just keep that a little bit focused. And then I'm gonna use this Practic brush so that I can, it's so pointy at the tip, I'm just gonna. this. 
so beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, and now I'm gonna use Flower Child in my inner corner as the inner corner highlight with my Voldemort M431. I need to be, I don't wanna get all crazy with this. I'm gonna actually take a little tiny bit of this and I'm gonna put it on the tip of my lid because, or on the highest point of my lid, because this is just a little bit dark for me to have for a halo eye. I want it to be a little bit brighter just on the lid. So in order to give it like a little bit of dimension, I'm just putting this lightest, brightest color on here. Awesome, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and I'll be back when I'm done. I just did a halo eye in 20 minutes. Sand with primer, <laughs> pretty good. So this is the manifesto, the piece de resistance. I use my Rouge and Rogue eye wigs, my Elf Camo Liquid Blush in Berry Well, my mm, Lime Crime Lippy in Teddy Bear, my NYX Slide On Glide On All Day Hard On in Glitzy Gold in the center, and then my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Alkaline on the outers. I think this looks fantastic. It looks so beautiful. It does look a little cranberry Christmassy. Gold always looks a little Christmassy to me, so gold isn't ever my go-to, but I just felt like this was going to be the one that really like nailed it for me out of the single shadows. My original intention was to use Moonchild because I just thought that offset of green would look really fucking cool, the mint green, but I decided I wanted to like do some looks that use some of these other products. Well, then I went in with the Moon Duster in Mellow uh, as my highlighter and dude, it actually, it, it took my breath away. Like I was like, oh, it, just the way it like melted on and it was just so perfect and the color is like, you can just see it's like perfection. So I don't know if you guys can see like, let me see something here. Wait, there we go. If you can see like the pink shift or if you can just mostly see, you can really see like, honestly, right there, you can see it's just got the most subtle hint of pink and it just really matches this color Marvy like so perfectly. So anyways, I'm really happy with this look. I'm just going on and on. I'm blathering on and on. Let's get into look number two. So I just literally went and washed my face and so I still have lash glue on my lids and whatnot, but I'm just gonna <laughs> throw some fucking P. Louise primer over the top of it and hope for the best. I'm gonna use these oranges because they're fucking long out. Uh, Sigma E25 and I'm gonna go into Earthy Ember because that's really the one that's calling to me even though those peaches are actually a little cuter to me. Oh cute. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, that's a cute color. Hmm, that is fucking adorable. Okay, I think I'm gonna use, what did I use? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. We'll just see. Actually, I'm not sure I'm gonna do that yet blends right out. Obviously, it's an orange, so it fucking better. Just saying. Like, Makeup Revolution oranges blend out. But I mean, that just really just was like, boop, gone. <laughs> Call her daddy. I'm gonna pink that up. I'm going into Mystic Mauve gonna kind of blush it up a little. It's kind of an apricot-y. Ooh, that's cute. I'm not sure, what did I do? What did I put in the inner corner? Mystic Mauve, yeah, last night on my last look. Fuck, I don't remember. I will tell you what I do know is I've used a lot of these colors now. Okay, what am I doing? I'm using O, 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 okay. I'm going to use one of these. Oh, I fucking am inclined as fuck to use Mellow. I used it on the last look, as you guys will see. I used it as my highlighter and literally was like, ah. I go, ah. Okay, that's a slight exaggeration, but not much. I mean fucking slight, bitch, okay? 
feel like I kind of mixed two different worlds with this because there's like these dirty colors and then there's like these like softer colors, like milky. I, I, that's the only way I know how to describe it. They're like the milky ones. And this is a dirty color. I realize there's no dimension. I'm There will be, I swear. I swear. I am definitely using that color mellow. What the fuck? Honestly, I kind of want to use the color babe just because I like the name. I'll use babe. I'm going to use this unearthly UC8 three and it's this like angle brush and I'm just gonna go like this which is not my use I don't know if this is gonna work for me I'm getting all weepy in there. This is not working for me. Mm -hmm. That's never gonna fucking cut it. I just need to blend out this. I'm gonna have to dip into that color babe and I just hope I can put a huge cat hair right in the middle of my eyeball with it. One thing I know for sure is it's really good at putting cat hairs in my eye. There we go. No, it's a really, it's a good brush. It's just like, I'm, I'm just not that good at using brushes like that. I'm like only good at using brushes that have like flow. But here's the other thing. I don't like to only be good at some shit. I like to like know, like I like to be able to grab whatever. Like, I like to see other people do things and use techniques and like use them. But dude, look at that fucking blend, dude. Shoot. Wow. She's nobody's Barbie bitch and you're no fucking can. Oh, I, okay, so I have to do this exactly the same way as I did. So I'm just gonna, but I'm gonna actually start from the lower lash line and go up like this. I wanna keep this cute. I don't wanna turn this fall. And so I'm going to, so meaning I was going to put this in the inner corner, but then I thought, ah, no, I'm not going to do that. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. So I want to put something cute in the inner corner. So I'm going to what? Go for that mint green, maybe? Feelings. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use Sage Serenity just because it sounds like a good time. I wish I had a... Okay, and then this is my Voldemort PJ H33, and I'm going to go into Sage Serenity, and this is going to be... Uh, fuck it. I'm not going to. You know, I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go into Foxy, and it's probably going to look really similar, but let's just see what happens because I haven't used it yet, and I just want to see. Okay? Okay? Oh, yeah. That's... I just feel like this color hasn't gotten its just due. Oh, that is really fucking pretty. Okay, so there's not really a ton of contrast there, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. Since I'm doing 70 looks, I might as well fucking see what it looks like, right? And plus, this moon duster shadow that I'm gonna use on it is fucking gonna fucking light your guys' shit up. Or maybe just mine, but maybe all of ours. Fire it up, fire it up. Ooh, this is pretty fiery. That really did fire it up, huh? Ooh, this fucking color that I'm gonna use, this moon duster color, is gonna fucking fire it up, bitch. Okay, I'm gonna actually do the lower, cause this color is fucking pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it. There, It's a subtle difference, obviously. Like, I wouldn't, I probably would normally pick something very, very much in contrast, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. And at this point now, I've used every single color except Dig It and these two. So basically, the neutrals I haven't used. Oh, I like that. Cute. Okay, now I'm going to use this. And I'm going to put on NYX Glitter Primer. And then I'm going to use this color. Ooh. 
I'm getting too excited. I'm dropping shit everywhere. I'm going all in with the Mellow, Mellow Moon Duster, and it's going to be baller. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of tap this because, well, you guys know. You guys know what happens. Okay, so I'm just taking this and I'm putting it like this and then I'm just like dumping it. But like, honestly, I don't feel 1000% safe doing that. But what else am I supposed to do? <gasps> do you see that? Oh my God. <sighs> oh my God. Ooh. Holy fuck. I need to calm the fuck down. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I'm gonna kind of bring this up just because it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna just take this and put the tip in like this. <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> and I'm gonna kind of go like this. And I'm gonna Because these don't spread the same, right? Like they you can like get away with a little bit more of a spread. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I'm, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what else to do. Okay, I guess maybe I'm going to go into retro rainbow. What is going to happen? I don't want to. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to dip into that with, I'm going to use this Voldemort M562 and I'm just going to dip that right in there and maybe spray it. Oh yeah, that worked really good. Man, this is fucking beautiful. Beautiful! I say, oh, no, I don't think that was a, I don't know, I don't know if that was a smart move, but let's just, oh yeah, it wasn't a bad move. I dipped my brush in there and really like fucking soaked it. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at how it's just like getting better and better. And quite frankly, my fallout isn't that fucking bad. It's just a little tiny bit right there. It's nothing I can't live with, honestly. And I mean, I'm not like super anal about fallout, but I don't love it either. Like it's not my favorite. If I can't avoid it, I will. But if I can't, I don't like, you know, lose a bunch of fucking serenity over it and shit. This is the look. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and I'll be back when I'm done. So this is the manifesto, the piece de resistance. I use my Rouge and Rogue eye wigs, the same ones that I just wore the last time. They're like getting pretty fucking useless. And my Urban Decay 24-7 gel liner in Lucky on my waterline. My, okay, I use the lip lacquer and then I put this mellow moon duster over the top of it and then kind of just mixed it together to give it, make it a little, I just wanted to add it in. To tell you the truth, I thought the lacquer looked good, but I just wanted to see what happened if I added a little shim to it. And then I used this mellow as my highlighter and it fucking looks cute. Oh, and then I used Goji in my Arthurine blush palette. You guys know, I always look so cute with Goji. Goji's my Goji. Okay, here's the deal. So this is like my final thoughts on everything. The palette, amazing, get it. Like if you're even on the fence about it, get it. There's so many combinations, so many cute looks that you could do. Like I could have done several different things. I feel like I really got a wide, good variety, but I didn't even begin to broach the topic of these fucking badass colors. And the reason why is because I just wanted to give you guys an opportunity to see the other ones, like the, the Moon Dusters, which I still have more of them, but okay, so I'm gonna tell you something. So somebody asked me, what are the two, if I was only gonna get two of the singles, the two I would get is Mellow and, let me see what the other one is, Flower Power, which is the, the one I just used with the pinky, it's like the brown, brownie, pinky. It's almost like pukey colored, but it's got that cool like pink tint and then the brownie lavender. These are the two that I would absolutely get if I was just gonna get two. So the singles in Mellow and Flower Power are the two that I would get. They're fucking beautiful. They're delicious as fuck. Literally just a shockingly good color. Now, those other ones are cute, but honestly, like if I was only gonna get, if I was gonna recommend, those are the ones that are so weird. They're just so weird. The other ones are weird too. Honestly, that fucking mint green shifts to bright ass blue. 
it's a little weird. So I didn't even fucking get into these badass other fucking shifty colors. Like there's a lot going on here that I didn't use, but I used every single one of the mattes. So for me, a palette is really about what you can do with the mattes as you guys know. Okay, so in the Moon Dusters, the ones, they're all really pretty. I have that white one in the inner corner. It's fucking beautiful, but dude, if I just want to tell you right now, this color, uh, Mellow, Mellow, it's like, it's like a peachy. You could see it in there. It's just that, it's the one I'm wearing on my lid, and it's just, you can use it as a, it's for me, it's a highlighter shade. It's fucking everything, and to tell you the truth, when I was going to place this order, what I said to her was I wanted to get a couple of the Moon Dusters and this Rain or Shine lip gloss. So if I was going to recommend one thing, it would be the Rain or Shine lip gloss. That's what I would absolutely get. Now, don't get me wrong, because I'm going to use the fuck out of all these lip products, like period. Probably more than a lot of my shit. But if I was going to get one of the Moon Dusters, it would be Mellow. But quite frankly, I haven't used the other ones. But when I was going to place the order, I wanted to get two of the Moon Dusters. I just think there's something so special about loose pigments. They're so fucking sparkly and they really add something. Now, if I would have put these over the top of an another shimmer, but the thing about it is, is what the fuck was I going to do? These shimmers are already so good that it's like, literally, it's almost like taking away from the shimmer by adding another one of these Moon Dusters on the top of it. But like... I don't think that's necessarily true, but like, I just felt like no, no one's getting their fair chance for this video for the purpose of showing you guys. So this is a little bit translucent right now, but if, if I put it over the top of anything, it would totally cha transform anything. It's so fucking beautiful. It just looks so amazing. And honestly, like, I feel like all these, this is a fucking, it's like, it's like a, it's a colored, it's a colorful palette, but make it nude, neutral, or it's a neutral palette, but make it colorful. It's like the perfect mix. Like this is a neutral palette to me. It's like, it's like a perfect badass neutral palette. And I do have a couple of neutral palettes that are like that, where they're weird. They're neutral, but they're fucking weird. They're just weird enough and colorful enough for me. This is fucking it. So I, um, love this color changing pH, but if you're, if you, I, I don't know how everybody is about pink gloss. I don't know exactly what this color turns to on everybody else, but the doe foot was pink. So that should be kind of an indicator. And, um, also the least, my least favorite of the products is this lacquer, but it's only because it doesn't smell. And also, it goes perfectly with every fucking color in this palette. So am I really grateful I have it? Fuck yeah. If you're into a flat, glossy gloss. Oh, here was the other thing I was going to say is I haven't worn this gloss for any amount of time. So I still have yet to determine of whether or not it's going to bleed up. It feels pretty solid. Plus, I put that fucking moon duster in it. So it's probably set. So I'm not really going to find out if it's going to bleed. But it's kind of a, it's kind of the wrong color to bleed. But it's something that I always have to be conscious of because buttery glosses like this bleed up into my fine lines. So it's that's a thing for me. I, I haven't worn a gloss that did that to me for a really long time. Those glisten chroma chroma glosses didn't do it. I thought they were going to. So all of these products are so fucking special and the shimmers. Oh, these fucking singles. That's the other thing is like knowing now what I didn't know then, these singles shift in a way that's nobody can tell you. No, no picture can do it any justice. I can't fucking explain it. It's got like two spectrums. Each one of these shifters has like two spectrums and only one of them shows on camera and you can still see several different shifts, but you can't see the whole other fucking end of the spectrum of shifts. It's like two different sets of, of shifts. It's crazy. I don't know how to explain it, but dude, all of these fucking single shadows shift in so many different fucking ways. The human eye can't even comprehend it. So that's my final review. The shadows blend like a dream. I literally made a straight up line and just barely pulled it up. It blent out like a dream. All of the colors go together. So cute. I'd like to put a pink and a green together because those are my actual favorite colors in here. But are they, because honestly, the oranges are pinky. Like really the only, th these are the only grungy tones is these two. 
you know, all the rest is like pretty colorful. That's all there is. The launch is February 27th at 10 a.m. PST. This video will be up in time for the launch so that you guys can see you can use my code L-O-S-S-E-D, which I always fucking forget to say all the actual important shit because I'm like balls deep in fucking color excitement. It's a color extravaganza, especially with all these. So anyways, when I, I get overwhelmed by color, like it just freaks me the fuck out, especially when I get like such special fucking products, which I've gotten a lot of really special products in the last like six months so anyways don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next hit the like button if you like this video or if you just like my sparkling personality more more charm and hang out with me in the comments because i fucking love it let me know if you guys like look number one better than look number two let me know if you guys are interested in what products um yeah i'll probably do more looks honestly i fucking kind of am at a point where like obviously like there's releases coming up in April and May and so a couple in March that I'm like really all about. But like, I think I'm gonna try to like just fucking use this shit for you guys and I love you guys so much. If you got like halfway through this video and you're like, oh my God, she's so fucking pretty until she opens her big fucking mouth, then go check me out on Instagram. I don't talk as much on Instagram. And if you're like, don't sugar go to Katie, why don't you tell us how you really feel? Go check me out on Patreon. I don't hold anything back on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching. You could have been anywhere, but you were here wasting your time with me and I totally appreciate you later. Air.